I'm starting the video now and this is a tutorial if we can call this tutorial for Apurva because she's a, a work colleague and friend and she's a biostatistician and I am a scientist and I want to demystify the idea that uh, scientists do not wear makeup no I'm just kidding uh, I'm just trying to give excuse as to why I'm recording this video and it is because talking with Apurva she wanted to see how I do my makeup which is the same makeup every day really um, so I decided to on the 4th of July I had nothing better to do at 7 a.m. in the morning than recording this tutorial for Apurva so I have here um, the makeup uh, ingredients that I use for this recipe which is one two three four five six seven eight nine nine items and I hope you like it um, sure if you will learn anything new probably not um, as a disclaimer I have no idea what I'm doing I'm not a professional if you may wonder <laughs> probably do not wonder and um, yeah I just hope you like it and coffee Right, let's go for it, shall we? Okay, normally I put on the foundation and this is the one that I'm using at the moment, which I really like. It's Lisa Eldridge, um favorite drugstore one. Normally I <laughs> I do this wrong or I put too much or I, I, I put too little. There's no middle ground here. And um, this is how I do it. I look ridiculous. It's like I'm preparing for a ninja contest or something like that. I always do this at home and it's all right to look like that but I've sometimes done that at the airport <laughs> and it is hilarious how people look at you they think that you're crazy okay so I'm using the brushes from Jens thank you very much they are lovely uh, <laughs> I've just realized that I'm saying that with this face isn't that wonderful and sometimes I use brush sometimes I use fingers I think I use a combination of the two because I like I like this to be well blended um, so let's use the brush um, and I don't have enough as a disclaimer oh and as another disclaimer <laughs> uh, this look just works for me <laughs> and I am not obviously a makeup artist so I have no idea what I'm doing I just go along with it and I do it and I talk about it because I simply love makeup and it was actually Apurva, the one who suggested that maybe I like it so much because I like to draw and paint. And actually it's true because it's another form of drawing and it's very tactile. You can actually touch, touch, touch your colors. And um, I don't know, I really like it. And if this may sound very um, stupid <laughs> um, or banal almost, um, I'm alright with it. So normally I don't apply too much as you can see. Um, I use it just to have a similar tone but then my favorite one is the one that follows now. Um, and once I've done that I go over so that there are no hard edges <laughs> like makeup artists say. Um, and I think it's okay today. I think it's okay. But for me, the most important step is this one, but I think Apurva, um, your skin is really nice, so you don't need that, um, but I do. So the way that this works, <laughs> it's really well loved. It's the Laura Mercier Secret, Secret Camouflage. And um, yeah, I just cover all the nasty things, really. I always get really stressed here, um, because for me, the skin is the most important step. Um, yeah, I spend a lot of time on my skincare routine so that my um, skin is good already at this point because it's not really, so I have to really work hard so that my skin looks good. Um, and yeah, and this step maybe takes me about 10 minutes. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see how long is that video. Because you know, I had to readjust 
uh, the type of videos that I record because normally my dad only watches the first two seconds after he realizes that I'm speaking a language he doesn't follow so he doesn't care to watch it any further <laughs> and uh, then the rest of my audience <laughs> um, does not watch the 20 long videos that I do so I'll try to be prompt and make this as as real time actually because that takes me 10 minutes so yeah let's see if I can manage to do this in 10 minutes we'll see I think that's it I normally don't put concealer it's not because I don't have dark circles I do have like dark circles but I think people expect you to have them so I don't like to cover them because then you have a patch um, a white patch and I just think I look like a panda so I just rather not um, then I go with powder I really don't know what I'm doing when I'm using powder, um, but never mind. Uh, my friends got me this, my friends from Brighton, uh, and I'm forever grateful. They know me very well. Uh, it's also really well used. Oh, falling on me and really dirty as well, as I can see. Um, and normally, this is what I do. Again, have no idea what I'm doing. Now, I go with my MAC that I cannot even see the back which means that it's a thousand years old <laughs> and that I should probably buy a new one and I go with the biggest brush that I can find and I pick the pinkiest, uh, pinkiest uh, blush that I can find in the market but I feel that this really depends on who is using it because if I were brown or orange or any sort of tone that Kim Kardashian would wear, I would look ridiculous. I would look really ridiculous. And again, some some people cannot wear pink. It looks silly on them. So this is up to, I, don't, I think a proverb, it would look really nice on you, some kind of brown. Yeah, but I have no idea again. This is a really big disclaimer, please. Don't do this at home. Because <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. So yeah, and I go several times and uh, until I look like a door and I've noticed that in all my videos I make this remark to be painted as a door. Um, and that's not the look that I try to recreate of course, but sometimes you cannot help it. Um, yeah, my look is very natural and sometimes Apurva says, Oh, um, because you don't wear makeup and I'm like, oh gosh, no, I don't wear makeup. I always wear makeup, but I try to make it look like I don't, but I do, I do do. So now we move on to eyes and this is the only, this is the part that always, always remains the same. If I'm going on a hike, I'm going to wear this. If I'm going to the lab, I'm going to wear this. If I'm going um, grocery shopping, I'm going to have this makeup. Uh, if I'm going to a wedding, I'm gonna have this makeup. It really doesn't matter. It's just one look <laughs> that I use for everything. Absolutely everything. Now, the eyes may vary a little bit, but really, let's be clear here, probably not. And um, Xin Xin recommended this um, eyeshadow. It's from NARS and just because it's so cute, it's worth trying. It's rather expensive, but again, I only use one, so I think it's worth it. And I don't even care to use any brush, I use my finger. Um, and I don't even blend it or do anything on the eye sockets. I had to have... In, an, in a tutorial, you have to talk about eye sockets, surely. And so I just go this way, I don't blend it again. Um, just to have a bit of light. And then, this again varies. So sometimes I go with my Kiko. <laughs> I laugh because I love this name. Kiko um, liner. It's a very nice stroke. It's very defined, like I would do for some of my drawings. That's probably why I like it. But then, again, Lisa Eldridge introduced me to this one, which has a bit of sparkle. And if you combine sparkle and then something that I can blend, um, I think it's a winner combination. So I'm gonna use this one, but uh, <laughs> it's really well loved as well and it doesn't work um, as nicely as it was when I first bought it. So I should use really a sharpener, 
but I don't. So my butt, um, just looking this way because my husband is doing something. He, we have a big production team here <laughs> and he's in charge of the uh, lights and the sound. <laughs> And I love him very much for helping me on all my endeavors. So, well, okay, so straight on, because again, I don't have much time. I'm not normally that chatty in the morning. At six in the morning, I'm normally, um, I'm saying six in the morning, it's probably more like 6.30 in the morning, but I was just being dramatic. Okay, so shall we go for it and stop talking? Uh, now I have to really stop talking because you cannot apply eyeliner whilst you talk, so I'll shut up for a second. I go midway and then to the back and it's not a perfect stroke, but it doesn't really matter because this is not like Kiko where you have to be very precise and then if I wanted to blend it even more, sometimes I use this, but really it's just for the fun of using it, again, because it looks like I'm painting something, I'm drawing. Uh, but I don't think it does much. <laughs> I love the science behind my um, makeup. Uh, right, so once we have that, I go for my favorite thing of all, which is the uh, mascara. I never like mascaras, but never mind. Um, I always like to have, to have um, really long eyelashes. And so I go for Lancome because again, I am a Lisa Eldridge fan and she said that she likes doll eyes. I think it's an all right look, but I really like the drama. Of course, I always like drama. Um, and this will look very fun on camera as well because it's so tempting to open your mouth. <laughs> very silly when you apply mascara, resisting the temptation. It's a husband. Check it. Oh no, it happens! But I have everything prepared and key tips are great for this. There you go, nothing happened. Okay, when I done. <laughs> I also mainly wanted to make this video short because I've realized editing those videos takes so long! It's a full-time job for this silly hobby of ours. Gosh, so I really want to make it short, but it's long already. I've always been really curious about applying false eyelashes, but I've never dared doing it because it could also be a disaster. <laughs> I just envision myself with uh, flying false eyelashes going all over the place. Um, so I'd rather not. Now this is a trick from my very best friend Yasmina, you will laugh at it, but I have 3D <laughs> eyebrows and actually I was once complimented by a guy, um, you have wonderful eyebrows and I thought isn't that the most bizarre compliment that anyone can give you? <laughs> But see, she she um she wants to cut of her makeup bag um, a toothbrush, and I thought, what is she doing? Um, <laughs> and it was to brush her eyebrows. But of course, she is a very um, Pinterest kind of girl, and this is a very do-it-yourself idea, makeup idea. Doesn't really work because my eyebrows are very temperamental. They are 3D and they have a life on its own. So that's it. I think now I'll go for the lips and normally for the lips what I do is I apply it to the whole lip and then I remove it a bit to create a stain. And this is the one that I use for my wedding. Uh, I love fuchsia, but again, it's a color that it doesn't suit everyone as it, orange doesn't look good on me and I don't know why, but fuchsia, I think it's a color that suits me. I think for a purva, maybe a brown again would look really good on you or a red, but again, what do I know, right? And then I just go on the middle and I apply more color there, but just the middle. 
and I think that's the look. I don't know why I have these weird eyebrows today. Um, <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. I don't know how to end this. <laughs>